Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna go through my entire collection and we're gonna see what is staying and what is going. So if you like this video, please, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Okay everyone, so here is my entire perfume collection. I know it's a lot, it's a lot. That's why I want to get rid of some things because I just don't have enough space for them. So yeah, let's start with the ones that I have here. Okay, so we have Juliet has a gun. Uh, this one is staying very similar to similar vibe to Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Montal Intense Cafe, you already know I love this one. My entire Maison Margiela collection. This is music festival, not really my favorite. It's a sweet patchouli with some green apple, but is this continued is pretty original. So I'm gonna keep this one for now. Lam du Merve by Hermes, again, not my favorite, but I didn't wear this one to be honest with you, just because it's more like a fall winter perfume. So we're gonna see, but for now it's staying. Next, oh. We have Lexta by Nina Ricci. I said before, very similar to La Nuit Trezor by Lancome. Really like it. It's staying. Then we have Van Cleve and Arpels Orchid Vanille. For sure, it's staying. It's my favorite. This video is going so well. Amazing. I'm going to keep all of them. That's not the purpose of the video. Come on. Umbo Vani by Serge Ruta. It's staying. Um... Sweet vanilla, ambery a little bit, more like a bakery vanilla, I really like this one. Le Partie Passe, really don't like this fragrance, but I got this one from someone on Depop, it was very cheap, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it just for display, because they look quite nice together, and I'm not gonna buy any Serge Luta perfumes soon, so yeah, just for display, I'm gonna keep it. Sofia Vergara, Sofia, you already know, I love this thing. I got this one because Maria MJ, she recommended this a billion times and I said, okay, fine. And I got it and I love it. So yeah, highly recommend this one. For sure, it's staying in my collection. Tom Ford Noir. Um, it's nice. It's very spicy, very oriental, but in the opening, it has a ginger note. And I don't really like ginger, but on me, this one, the ginger is very, very strong, so no. I like the dry down, I li really like the dry down, but the opening is just, it's a no for me. So this one is going. Then I have Lalique Le Parfum, nice embry vanilla and satin, more like a powdery scent. Okay, what well, we have here, Swiss Arabian, Shaga Food, of course this one is staying, this is a dupe for Eau de Bouquet while I'm calm. Casablanca is staying, sweet caramel with apple, and then Carolyn Herrera, good girl, and the leisure version. Um, this one is a sweet, like fall, winter, maybe night out, sexy fragrance. Um, lots of notes, has coffee, has praline, has stone cup, has everything in it. This one is almost the same as this, just fresher. And here we have the three minis, Dylan Blue, Eros, and Chris Anor. Probably I'm gonna get these two, not sure about this one. So let's move to this side. Okay, so we have Roberto Cavalli, Giamatti Paradiso. Really like this one, is staying. Roberto Cavalli, Nero Assoluto. Really like this one, but it gives me a headache. Uh, what should I do with you? Okay, I'm gonna keep it for now. I'm going to give it another chance. Just one. If not, it's going. Mark Jacobs Decadence. Um, very nice, sweet and green perfume. Very original. Really like this one. It's staying in my collection. Orientica Ishra Gold is staying for sure. It's a cheapy. It's a mix between Black Opium and Good Girl. Then we have this one. Molinard Habanita La Cologne. Um, it's in the same category with Chanel Number no. Five, Shalimar. Mm, 
yeah it's, it's more like a shelly more but for the summertime it has some citrus note in it it's not my favorite it, it has a very good lasting power and great sillage but it's just too mature for me no this one is going for sure okay uh, next we have Gerla, La Petit Rome Noir, it's sour cherry with licorice, La Petit Rome Noir fresh, more like clean and a little bit almondy, not amazing but when you just want to smell clean this one is nice, uh, Black Perfecto, mm, not sure about this one, this has the same sour cherry as the original but it has a very strong leather note so I'm gonna give it another chance, okay, just for now. Next, we have Amo Ferragamo. You already know, Orange Creamsicle, I love this one. Amo Ferragamo Flowerful, basically the same thing, just with citrus notes. Um, Signorina Misteriosa, not my favorite, it's way too sweet for me. It's very jammy, it's... Um, it has lots of berries in it, but I'm gonna keep it just because you already know. I got this one, Lanvin, me. This one is blueberry and licorice, but the mix smells like cigars. And I don't really like this one by its own, but the mix between these two is amazing. So I'm gonna keep it just for that. Next, Jimmy Choo Illicit. Nice everyday perfume. Nothing groundbreaking, but... It's just nice to have in your collection. Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. Praline and Patchouli. I use quite a lot. I like this perfume, but I'm not the biggest fan anymore. Um, okay, I'm going to give it another shot. Then, again, again by Lanvin, we have a Gurin Capri. Really like this. It's fresh cut lemon. Not the best lasting power, but it's cheap, so yeah. Then we have here La Tafa Ra Ragba, it's a woody vanilla, quite unisex, I know there are mixed reviews about this, I really enjoy this perfume, I do believe it's unisex but it leans more feminine in my opinion, so yeah, really like this, this one is staying. Um, Ugo Post the Scent Absolute, this one is pretty similar to Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. This one is just not as sweet as that one. And it's a very strong coffee perfume. Nice to have. What else? Fancy by Jessica Simpson. A nice caramel perfume. Nothing wow, but it's also good for layering. So I'm going to keep it. Next I have... Oh, I didn't show you this one. I wanted to hold this one, but then I just changed my mind. So this one is... Vanilla Mask by Coty, super inexpensive, this one is a 30ml bottle and it was like 10 pounds, something like that. It smells exactly like vanilla and mask. People of Fragrantica were raving about this. It's not my type, just because I don't really like mask, I like mask as a base note. But this one is very musky, it's just vanilla and mask. If you are into that, go for it, it's very inexpensive but it's not my thing, so this one is going. Next we have Red Floor by Rihanna, tropical coconut, more like for nighttime. So I really like this one. Very inexpensive again. It's staying. Lacoste Profem Intense, um, musky caramel. I don't really like the mask in this perfume, but if I mix this one with Juicy Couture. Um, gold couture the mix is amazing it's very it's just it's pure caramel basically so i'm gonna keep it just to mix it with that one because i also don't really like that one next we have choco mask i know it says mask but i don't smell any mask it smells like choco cereals and very inexpensive it's nice to have in your collection why not then we have by al rehab this one was also by Al Rehab, sorry guys. Um, Dalal is caramel with some orange. Again, nice to have in your collection, why not? And then we have Fantastic by Al Rehab. This one is a dupe for Britney Spears Fantasy. 
not the biggest fan it's way too fruity for me it's way too young for me so this one is going okay so we have valentino donna aqua very nice pistachio perfume but is the pistachio is there just in the opening then it's a pretty fruity fruity floral perfume nothing wow uh, i'm gonna keep it but i'm not gonna rebuy it probably because the lasting power is terrible and yeah after the dry down it's too generic uh valentino donna really like this one very sweet feminine elegant gives me a little bit of c by armani vibe but that they're not similar enough to say that they are dupes but they they are pretty similar next we have elisab as you can see i love elisab le parfum is soapy orange blossom with some honey then we have le parfum in white this one is even more soapy than the other one but this one feels like more bright yeah this one is more bright more i don't know more for the spring summer i would say and then we have elisa Le parfum is that one that i can't pronounce the name here we go um this one is more like an ember it's the same dna just this one is more ember more fall winter nighttime maybe again very soapy and then last one from elisa oh they're all staying they're all staying girl of now you already know this one is staying very nice almond pistachio sweet perfume what else we have here Givenchy Angel de Mo Le Secret nice cranberry tea very very sweet cranberry tea perfect for the summer Givenchy Live Resistible delicious um, more like uh, a cake more like a strawberry cake not strawberry, sorry, um, cherry cake. It's cherry notes and lots of fruity notes and yeah, smells like a cake basically. Then we have Dolce & Cabana Intense, Perfume Intense. This one, I really like the dry down, but it's something in the opening that really bothers me. I know it's there just for five minutes, but I would rather smell something else in those five minutes. So this one is going. Okay. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, you already know I love this one. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Escape to Panarea, really, really like this one. Like, I really like this one. It has absolutely nothing in common with the Light Blue. It's more like a summery vanilla, but also very creamy. Vanilla has the same creaminess as this one, but this one is like a summer version. Uh, Dolce Garden, I adore this. It's a very beautiful coconut. You get very creamy, sweet coconut perfume. This one is staying. Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris, this is the EDT. Um, not the biggest fan, it's pretty generic. So I'll buy the, the Udu Parfum for sure. But the EDT, nah. But for now, it's staying because I have nothing to complain really. It's nothing to, that bothers me, but it's just meh. Armani. See, you already know I love this one. Very sweet floral perfume, but very sweet. Armani Code Cashmere. No, that Cashmere. Satin. Sorry. <laughs> Armani Code Satin. You already know I adore this perfume. Agent Provocateur. Or something like that. Fatal Intense. Um sweet fruity with some leather i think i have it has also some licorice very unique scent really really like this one very inexpensive but the lasting power is terrible and dior addict you already know how that one smells hypnotic poison and miss dior sweet by italian pica cherry lip gloss then we have oh then we have this one Nux Pro de Jule Parfum. This one is supposed to smell like um, tanning oil. I don't really like the smell, so this one is going. Yeah, this one is going. Okay, we're not doing that bad. I was expecting to to get rid just of two or three perfumes, but we're doing pretty good. Next, Angel Muse uh, Hazelnut Chocolate and Patchouli. 
uh, alien essence absolute is like um, alien with some caramel syrup on top uh, angel of sucre um, very very sweet fruity way too sweet for me i like it but i'm not gonna rebuy it and then the dt see remember when i told you that i hate these bottles remember that's why that's why i absolutely hate those bottles so let's move on it's everything fine yeah everything is fine so what i was saying sorry guys for that really like this one way way better than the original next um aqua di parma mandolo di sicilia uh, not the biggest fan it smells like kids toothpaste but i'm gonna keep it for now just give it another chance arancia di capri smells like fresh cut orange again not the biggest fan so here we have pepe jeans um for me this one smells like a pina colada this one is staying for sure and then Olympia by Paco Rabanne, it's um, a salted vanilla, very nice, I really like this fragrance. And then we have Olympia Legend, this one is extremely sweet and extremely salty, so yeah, it's basically the original one, but 10 times stronger. So yeah, let's move on. Okay, so, uh, Flower Balm Dew it's more like a fruity sparkling it has some pear in it very sparkling very appropriate for the springtime perfume really nice really like this bonbon intense is caramel very sexy but not, it's not juvenile or anything it's caramel i think some tonka bean i can't remember it's very sexy very nice uh La Nuit Trésor, the original, and then A La Folie, these are for sure staying. Scandal by Night, you already know I love this. La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier, love this one. Pear, Vanilla and Vetiver. Uh, Hymnos by Lancome is staying for sure. Uh, creamy Vanilla, or more, maybe like, yeah, you can say it's um, more like a Pudding vanilla with passion flower. Then we have La Vie Belle. You already know how this one smells. Then we have La Vie Belle Intense Month. Um, has just a little bit of the original DNA, but it can be um, a fragrance by its own. It's a raspberry uh, and vanilla. Very nice blend. Then this one is a new one. Again, I wanted to hold this one, but I changed my mind. This is, I found this one on Amazon, very inexpensive, it's like five pounds for the 30 ml. It's called Cosmopolitan, it's supposed to be a fruity perfume, it is a fruity perfume, very nice write down, but it has a similar vibe as Britney Spears, that sweet, fruity, but like, more like celebrity perfume, and but I don't like the opening. Opening is a little bit too medicinal for me, so yeah, this one is going. Even though the packaging is cute, it was super inexpensive, but yeah, it's going. Next, um, Burberry Her, you already know I love this. Zadik and Voltaire, I never knew how to pronounce this name. This is her, is thing. What else? This one is Gold Sugar. Yeah, so Aqualina called Sugar. Uh, I know that the packaging doesn't look the same anymore, but my bottle was just like falling apart, so now it looks like this. And this one was supposed to be an orange creamsicle, but I'm not really getting that, and it's, it's doing something very weird on my skin. I like it on paper, but on my skin it's really doing something weird, so this one is going. Okay. Next we have, next we have Mubusa Elixir. What is going on today? Mubusa Elixir, never grab it from the cup. Um, very similar to La Vie Belle. This one is staying. This one is one from Primark. If you're from UK, you have to check this one out. Rosewood, it's eight pounds. It's amazing. 
Um, Juicy Couture, this is Soar. This one smells like a kid's shampoo, more like a kiwi shampoo. Uh, yeah, this one is going. This one is going. It's no, it's too too juvenile for me. No. Next, Juicy Couture, Gold Couture. I hate this packaging. Not the biggest fan of the scent, but again, I can mix it with that Lacoste perfume, and I like the mix. Also orange, I really like this one actually, I really like this one, it's more like an, a creamy honey with some fruits in it. Then we have Just Jack Simply Blanc, this is how I wanted that nukes to smell, it's a sweet creamy coconut scent and lotion. Ariana Grande Cloud is staying for sure. And not sure about this i will give it another try just one because i'm not sure and what we have here we have aqualina pink sugar this one is staying we have two perfumes from primark they're actually quite nice they're staying then the last one we have vanilla by alisa ashley and this one is staying okay so this is what is going tom ford Noir, bye bye. Molinard, La Colonne, Dolce and Cabana, Perfume Intense. Don't like the opening. Gorgeous sending the dry down, but I really don't like the opening, so no. Uh, vanilla Mask, again, if you like musky perfumes, you're gonna love this. I'm not the biggest fan, so no. Fantastic by Al Rehab, if you like Britney Spirits, you're gonna love this. I don't, so no. Nux, Prodigy. I don't know why I, do. I. It looks like everyone loves this perfume, but I don't. So maybe it's just me. It's something wrong with me. But this one's going. Cosmopolitan. Uh, really like the dry down, but the opening is too medicinal. So yeah, it's going as well. Cute palette, guys. I'm gonna break something today. Anyway. Gold, uh, sugar, it's nice on paper, it's actually nice on paper, but on my skin it's, it's weird, so yeah, it's going, and then Juicy Couture, Soir, it's more like for kids, in my opinion, so yeah, not my thing, so that was it for today, hope you enjoyed this video, and I know I didn't get rid of that many things, but that's a lot for me okay so i will see you in my next video guys bye